So this past weekend, I was on the internet, and the first thing, the first thing I saw was a picture of Jeff Jarrett and GFW with Cody Rhodes as the next gen champion. And I think it to myself, does anybody care about GFW anymore? Because in my opinion, when I first heard about GFW, I was like, great, yay, I love wrestling promotion. And then when I heard nothing about it, two years later, I was like, whatever, I don't care about it. Because in, in my opinion, you've got a guy in Jeff Jarrett, the guy who thought he was this big thing in the wrestling business. And in my opinion, I'm sorry, Jeff, you're nothing. Just because you founded a company with your dad in TNA, you think now that you've left TNA for the second time that you can have now branch out on your own without your daddy's help and you can now, you know, have GFW like TNA was. No, GFW has failed. It's a failure. And now, not only <laughs> have GFW have, have had no television, they have basically a champion. They have championships that nobody can see. And basically, GFW is just another TNA 2.0. It has the same ass ring with the same ass guy who built TNA is now going to has built GFW. And in my opinion, what is there to actually say hooray over to get GFW? You announced that Cody Rhodes has, be, has won the GFW, the not GFW Next Gen Champion. How the hell are you supposed to get people watching your product when, oh wait a minute, they don't have a TV station, so how are they going to watch? Duh! When you're supposed to be running a professional wrestling company, the one thing you're supposed to be doing is getting your eye, getting people's eyeballs on the product and getting people on the network trying to watch your product. At least, even these small independent promotions like Ring of Honor have seen quite a broadcast. Um, you have Evolution who have their new network. And you have TNA Destin uh, on pop. Then you have the WWE USA network. You're not going to be on there. But Global Force, Re Global Force Wrestling has no TV station. Has no YouTube channel. Really. They don't really post things on there. So it's basically an epic fail. And in my opinion, I don't care about GFW. GFW sucked. It was garbage. I mean, what else can I say? At least W, even WCPW, a British um, UK independence company that has an actual fan base with what culture and shit like that, have a YouTube channel. And they, you know, they promoted and stuff like that. And they're doing pretty well because I've seen a couple things on YouTube. What they've been doing, and they've been doing some pretty awesome stuff. I've seen the pictures and stuff, uh, which is pretty awesome. They've done some pretty awesome stuff. Um, yeah. And you look at what they're doing, and then you look at GFW, and WCPW's only been going for like six months, I think. GFW's two years. I mean, you know, which is a harder brand? I would have to say WCPW, man. Uh, Global Force Wrestling hasn't lifted off. I mean, it was the the lift off and down the highs and lows. Like you're gonna have a high and low DVD of GFW because that company ain't gonna last longer. There you go, guys. Fucking Jeff Jarrett, you garbage. There you go. Jeff, uh, Jeff Jarrett for future reference. Maybe before you started this um, GFW, maybe you should have maybe taught, taught some TV people before you started running your mouth about a TV promotion. There you go.